Yo. What's up, you guys? Hi. Got no one in the live chat yet, and maybe we'll get to see some people in a second here. Nine people. Three hundred sixty-three people. Okay, we got people showing up. What's happening? How are you? Ooh, I'm shiny, aren't I? A little shiny. What's up, Kaylee? What's up, Alex? What's up, Sylvia? Emilio? How are you guys? I hope you're well. Let's try and get some, some light on the subject here. What's up? Like that. Um, yeah, what's up? So I, I did a, um, I did a, uh, a Facebook live um, earlier today and then I deleted it because, yeah, I don't know, I was just talking. I was killing time before um, LA traffic, like they, to, to deal with LA traffic, they closed down certain roads and I, I, was, I was hanging out um, until one of the roads uh, opened up so I could drive home. And uh, they close it off so that you're not driving through people's neighborhoods at certain hours to spare those people all the traffic. But then at a certain point, they open them up. So I was just hanging out. Thought I'd jump on the Lincoln Park uh, live stream because the uh, I haven't been on here in a while. I haven't talked to you guys in a while on here. Um, so yeah, I thought that'd be cool. Um, I am excited. Noel says, thank you for choosing Don Brocco to tour with. I'm, I'm going on tour in the U.S. I just finished in, uh, just finished in Europe. Before that was Asia. Um, the shows were so great. Um, they were so much fun, you guys. And so, um, they were special. Like, they were really special. So, I'm glad. Thank you for all of you guys who came out. For those that you did not come out, you totally missed out, unfortunately. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Um, it's, yeah, these, these shows have been really, really special. Um, they're not, they're unlike Lincoln Park shows. They're unlike any kind of shows that I've done before. Um, part of it is just the, uh, part of it is the setup and like the, the, the opportunity of like what kind of show to play. Like, so here's why. I was just talking to somebody about this. So with the Lincoln Park show, what the guys always like like to do, have liked to do, historically at least, is to make a great show, design a show that everybody feels really strong about, and then play that exact show with, you know, little moments for changing things up, but like play basically that exact same show solid every night. And with this new tour, what I realized is that because it's just me kind of running the show, like if I decide to like play, just play a different song or talk for a little extra time or bring somebody on stage or do something silly, um, I can do all of that. And like the guys, like, you know, I can do things that I couldn't do with, with the other guys. And so I've been really diving into that and, do, and doing that. Um, which is a lot of fun. So for example, um, there was one night a little while ago where I came to the meet and greet and like people asked for um, a, like an album cut that we never play. They said, will you play Until It Breaks off of A Thousand Suns? And I was like, wow, like I don't know if I can. And then a few people later, it was like, will you play like cigarettes by Fort Minor? And I was like, wow, okay. I don't think, I don't, can't think of the last time I played that. And then, you know, so on and so forth. And I may be getting the exact details wrong, but the idea was that I went on stage and I said, hey, at the meet and greet, the people, you know, requested all these songs. Um, make some noise if you want to hear this song. Make some noise if you want to hear this song. And they were, and they cheered really, really loud for all the songs. So I was basically like, well, fuck it. I'll just play all the songs. <laughs> play all of them. And um, it was super fun. And it was really, it was something that I could never have done with Linkin Park just because you'd have to, everybody would have to know the songs. 
um, and in inevitably somebody would be uncomfortable, like wouldn't know the song that well or be uncomfortable with it or whatever. And, and these song, these, these shows have been different in that way. Um, also like, oh, until it breaks off living things. Thank you. KC McCarthy. Right. You are correct. Living things. Um, yeah. So there was a, yeah, so there've been different moments where um, it's like, you know, I can just kind of take the show in a weird direction or do something fun that the crowd wants to do. Um, and it makes it great, you guys. It makes it really, really fun. I enjoy, you know, part of, 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 uh, well, I don't know what I do, like who I am and what I do is, is that is getting on stage. And, and it used to be like with a lot of, and a lot of times it was like the intention was to bring the songs that you guys knew and loved to bring those to life, to play them, you know, like what you'd expect. But these days it's like doing it is not, it doesn't have to be like the album version. It can be something else. Um, so for those of you who already missed it in Europe and Asia, I hope I come back with, you know, to those spots with it. For those of you in Latin America, I hope I can make it to you. And for those in the US and Canada, I'm on my way uh, next month. So don't miss your chance to get some tickets and come out to the show because there's, they're, and it's an entirely unique thing. And I know that you'll, I know that you'll have a good time and I know that you'll, it'll be special. Um, so for all of you guys, there's been a couple questions in here about what is one of the questions that keeps coming up is like, when are you doing new Fort Minor stuff? I don't know what you mean. Cause like the, my album, the Mike Shinoda album is kind of like a lot like Fort Minor in a sense. Like if I did a Fort Minor record today, I think it would sound a lot like my solo record. Um, I don't know, but if you like Fort Minor, you should probably check out Post Traumatic. Seems like pretty obvious. Um, like for example, the new single, like, like make it up as I go to me sounds very Fort Minor ish. Um, if you haven't checked that out, check that out. The video is now out. Um, thank you to all you guys supporting the song with your radio, you know, at your radio stations and your, um, people to play, play, play songs and play videos and stuff. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, the song's going to go wherever it goes based on how you support it. So, you know, share it with your friends, bug the people to play it and all that stuff. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, for you guys, you know, asking about Lincoln Park stuff, you know, like I've always said, like when, if there's any movement or any answers to any of that stuff, you know, we'll tell you here first. Um, and the guys are doing well. I know you guys don't hear from Brad and Rob, but they're doing well. I'm going to go see Brad. Actually, I'm going to go see Brad today. So good. They're good. Um, and yeah. And, and for some of you who like, when you come in to the Lincoln Park comment section or you come into my, it doesn't happen on my comments as much, but when you come here, that's one of the things that I wanted. I, when I checked in here earlier today, I was noticing like there's some people that were very, they came in with a very dark, they came in with a very like kind of like dark, um, approach or expectation and I think the thing like if it was me on the other side of that equation and I knew somebody who had you know had had a friend pass away or family member um what I think we want for for people is for you to feel better and to get on with your lives and live life and be, you know, able to enjoy life. So that being the case, I want that for you. 
and I hope you want that for me. And I don't want us to, um, there's a difference between celebrating, you know, like celebrating um, somebody and being like stuck. And I don't want you to be stuck. Um, that's all. I just don't want you to be stuck. Um, for your own, you know, well-being. Um, doesn't mean you have to like my new stuff. It doesn't mean you have to, I mean, you know, people, people from the very beginning of our band, like we put out a new record and people were like, I like the first, I like the last thing. I don't like the new thing. I like the first thing. I don't like the second thing. <laughs> so believe me, like I'm not, um, I'm not, it's not new to me, the idea that somebody has a different opinion than what I want to do. It's our music, it's our thing, and um, you don't have to love it. Um, the decisions we make over the time or the new things or whatever. Um, but let's all be, there's a thing called emotional intelligence and there's empathy, and let's just be empathetic, all right? Um, if you've been reading some of these things that have been saying that people have been saying down here on the bottom, like this is some of the the beauty in this community, like it, it it's I think you guys have a higher level of of empathy than other people. I think that you guys are are you know there's a connection that is special. So don't ever lose that. Keep keep that going. Um, and, uh, yeah, and I'll check in here once in a while. I'm going to take off, um, for now. And like I said, like, I'll just keep checking in. Uh, thanks for the support. I'm going to be out in the U S doing solo shows, um, in October and November. So if that's where you're at, or if you can get there, then come see it. I'm playing, you know, Lincoln Park stuff, Fort Minor stuff, new solo stuff. Um, and then the set, you know, to be honest, it's based on what you guys want to hear. Like if the crowd, if I'm at the, I'm in the show at the venue and the crowd wants to hear more of a certain thing, then that's what we'll do. Um, but yeah, talk to some of these other people that have already seen the show. They know, they know what's up. All right, you guys. Um, be kind to each other, be good, and uh, hopefully I'll come on and say hi again later. Take care, you guys.